Okay, so today, Shanti Babes, I'm doing something a little different. I look like um, alfalfa. It's given alfalfa, it's given Pippi Longstockings, it's given crazy. <laughs> Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. We're gonna die at red, and I'm actually really excited. Um, I have, I don't know, four C here, four B. I'm not quite sure. You guys can kind of see it. Also, guys, the adopt the Ador dye says to put like some type of moisturizing cream against the side of your head. I don't even know what that meant. The girl in the video used Vaseline. I used leave-in conditioner and our body butter. So. Come on, Logan. So I have it in four parts. What you're gonna do is you're literally gonna just gonna like coat crazily. I'm doing all of it. For the majority, yeah. So like you just gonna literally like just with my fingers. Yeah. This entire video was supposed to be me dyeing my hair without using bleach because I watched another video and that process didn't work for me. So I literally ended up just applying bleach to my hair. But I'm gonna explain this whole thing in the next clip. Um, so we were trying the way without the bleach and that just wasn't, my hair was just looking black with like, ooh, little speckles of red, it wasn't doing nothing. And then, you know, I'm just like, fuck it. I bleached it, I bleached it, I bleached it. I gave myself a nice, like, toothpaste-y consistency. I did the good old wig bleach. Um, I did the 20 cream volume. And I just spread it out throughout my hair. I didn't really do my roots as much because the videos I watch say your roots process faster. And I don't really know if I want to do my roots. So I did it. They also said to do like a test strands of bleach. I didn't, I didn't do that. So Logan said he'd love me if I was bald. And he said wigs would be easier to install. So I guess that's good. Worst case. Um, I, I didn't know what to do with the 20 developer and the red concoction I already had in my hair. So that's why like the left side of my hair is pink and the right side is white. So listen, y'all, at least, you know, if you do this, you can't get any more messed up than I already do. Um, how are you going to do that when you have it tattooed? Oh, well, it's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> Two tone this bitch. <laughs> Shut the fuck up before I put the fuck down. <laughs> so when you gotta shave this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize oh, that my mom has a big birthday party on Saturday? I know. Did I you just... mess this up? What <laughs> you gonna call? For professional use only. Yeah. Not for retail sale. It's crazy because the only way you can get through this is crazy. Um, I'm not quite sure what time I started, guys. My eyebrows were twinked. My eyebrows are, t are tingling a little bit. I guess that lets you know if it's working. This is a new low. What in the world? New low? Like, I look crazy. I know, but like, I just look like crazy is what I'm talking about. Cause like, what? My scary thing is my hair is not like changing colors. Oh, it is changing colors. Look and look. Hey guys, so it's been like 20, look, it's been 20 minutes, right? Yeah. For like 20 minutes um bleaching my eyebrows i didn't watch any youtube videos on it and like in my head i was like oh like i'm bleaching my hair i should just bleach my eyebrows so i bleached my eyebrows and i have this dye on them oh, i don't even really? kept my eyebrows in for five to ten minutes but i don't even want to tell y'all yet till i see how it comes out guys i'm scared my hair my my the bleach has probably been in for like 20 minutes I didn't necessarily do my roots, so we'll see how big of a mistake that was. I'm okay if it goes from like black to red. I hope. I might. So I'm gonna go wash this out in the shower, and I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna go wash it out with um the purple shimmer lights shampoo, and I'll be back. I'm gonna hope my eyebrows stay on while I'm in the shower. Okay, guys. So this is what we're looking like. Since Logan neglected to help me during the bleaching process, I have quite a bit of black. Me, are you giving it a good sniffing? Mm -hmm. I have quite a bit of black going through there so I hope it colors okay I hope it colors okay I went in the shower I rinsed out the bleach I washed it with the purple shampoo and yeah, this is what it's giving well, it's not well, bad like I said well. low-key if I didn't already bleach my eyebrows I probably could have left this rock but I'm gonna section my hair into four parts so Logan uh, ready yeah. we're gonna section my hair into four parts and nobody I've seen wear robes I don't y'all y'all gotta wear robes because you just be hopping in and out the shower 
and I'm gonna be smarter, I'm gonna work smarter and not harder. So, oh my god, I have so much black in my hair. I hope this goes out right. I hope I don't have to re bleach my hair. You see exactly who I'm staring at. Yourself in the mirror? Uh, right. So you have to make sure this is thoroughly coated. So now guys, I'm sectioning my hair. So I have my ruby red and my crimson from Adore. She's only doing this because she doesn't have enough of these products. No, that's not why. I have another ruby red. It's just the crimson is a little darker. I'm telling you right now, guys, I know Kamani. Logan, I have another one. Dojo says, is that a treatment? Hey! Hey! Go! Go get it! Oh, God, I him red. I know. I am about to find it. The people do that to animals. No. No. Why? No. No, he's about to learn. He's about to be a scarlet red. Our one cat, our white cat goes. He's such a bad boy. There you go. Bro, my scalp itches. I don't know if anybody talks about that. My scalp is itching right now. Go crazy. Get in there nice and deep. Look. What? What was that, Logan? That was what a horrible stuff. What did you do that for? Right now, editing Kamani. I don't know why my computer camera quality looks like it's from 1950, but I'm not getting my phone. Anywho, when you guys bleach your hair, get like a cheap two to three dollar tablecloth, a plastic tablecloth, and put it across the, your bathroom floor. You're welcome. This takes. Make sure you get in there, like swimwear. I don't know what that means. Get in there like swimwear. Ooh. Sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap, too sexy for that cap, too sexy for that jack, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, so my hair is pretty thoroughly coated. It looks. Good. Obviously, I'm not gonna know until it comes out. So it says on the instructions to keep it under heat for 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my blow dryer on the high because I don't have one of those like head thingies. So I'm gonna take my blow dryer on the highest setting and just literally sit here for like 15 minutes and just heat do it, and then I'm gonna let it sit for like another 45 minutes, 10 hour, even though it's already like nine o'clock right now. So yeah, I guess I'll see a finished product by like 10, 11. So we'll see. I'm sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap. Too sexy for that cap. Too sexy for that jack. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, it's now 10 o'clock. I washed my hair out. This is what it's looking like. I guess it looks cute. I don't know until I kind of style it tomorrow. The only downside is that I see I just shampooed it out in the shower and like I still see some like bleach here, but like the brown like i see the brown like almost like the dye like when i was in the shower it looked like a bloodbath like all the red i just saw a whole bunch of red um took the dye off my eyebrows they might have to be dyed black i think i'm gonna dye them black tomorrow i don't i don't know if the eyebrows were a success that might have been too much for me honestly um so i have some coconut oil here my scalp is a little dry it feels like but my hair's still a little damp, so I guess I'm just gonna leave it out for a second. Um, have some coconut oil, because I know your hair gets dry after bleaching, so I'm just gonna take some coconut oil, push it out through my hair, it smells so good. Some type of moisturizer. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's gonna do anything or not. But I'm gonna update you guys tomorrow. The roller coaster of emotions that I've gone through throughout this whole entire process is like, upsets my eyebrows that are just throwing me off, throwing my boyfriend and I off. I don't know if it's the color of the hair, I don't know, but we're here with another $50 in products from Sally's to try to fix this. So first, I'm going to try to fix my eyebrows. I bought like three to four different um, boxes of dye that I hope are close to my eyebrow shade. Lord knows. I don't know. So we're going to try that and I'll be back and see if I'm going to keep this hair color or if I'm going to change it because I also bought darker reds. So All right, Shanti babe. So it is finally finally over this has been like a two to three day ordeal my eyebrows are back um my hair i like it i guess honestly after all of that i don't even know but i guess i like it now i do want to go over some things that i wish i knew before i started um that could probably help you guys out so one i i'm gonna tag the video that i originally watched where it's literally just um using developer instead of bleach i don't really think the bleach did anything to my hair i don't know it looks really red on camera i promise you it's not this red it was like clown red as you guys saw in the video and thankfully it is not clown red anymore 
definitely recommend like a deep 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 red and that's what i thought that the ruby red was gonna be it wasn't so i went back in with like a hair wax i'm gonna insert it right here it's like the manic something i went back in with that like hair wax type dye and i put that right on over it literally applied so well it applied better than the colorant that i actually used that adore color it applied so much better than that so if i had to redo this entire process i would just either bleach my hair if i bleach my hair i would use that freaking like wax material because it just it it takes to our hair so nicely like so nicely um i would do that i wouldn't touch my eyebrows <laughs> i would use that especially that hair wax because that helped out actually a lot and that actually helped tone down my color um my eyebrows are not like the actual shade that my eyebrows should be but it's close enough because it's close enough but honestly let me know what y'all think i don't even know after all that i don't know we'll see i'll see if it grows on me I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to end that like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I actually probably don't because I probably will not be your best source. But thank you, Shanti, babe, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hello, stranger.